I should probably run on a scout because scouts are so freaking strong. Or a pulse. We're gonna snipe. Oh my god! And did y'all see that? Oh, I didn't even look at him. Oh my god. Hey y'all, I'm Jay Kirk. Uh, I got a little excited there. That happens here. Welcome back to the channel. This video is about Destiny 2 survival loadouts. We shoddy hand cannon and snipe here. One bow remains. All opponents defeated. Hey Guardians, again I'm Jay Kirk. I love Titans and I love Destiny 2 PvP. Solo comp or survival freelance is my favorite right now. Thank you guys for being here and for all the support. It means a lot. So I really enjoyed the discussion in the YouTube comments. This video was made because of several requests in the comments. And I needed to show y'all loadouts and I didn't. I should have done that in the last two videos. So we're going to talk about weapons, armor, mods, perks, and more. Like I said, I run hand cannon and shoddy a lot. And I also run hand cannon and sniper on some maps. Again, no last word, no OEM here. So I'm going to be going over a lot of gear here, guys. So feel free to pause the vid if you need to. I'll try to scroll all over all of my perks um, so you can see them. There's going to be a lot of highlights in this vid. And the vid is a little longer than the last two. I'm still trying to figure out what game plays best. I wanted to have enough Last Guardian standing plays, sniper and shoddy plays, and primary plays. And just good overall gameplay in there. If you like seeing sniper plays the most, the clips from Javelin, Widow's Court, and Altar have snipers in them in this video. I mean, some of you already know, but I'm more of a shoddy hand cannon player most of the time. I just like playing aggressive. I like the in-your-face style. You know what I'm talking about. So, guys, if you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe. I uh, appreciate all the support. Again, guys, y'all are awesome, amazing. If y'all have any questions or comments, feel free to comment on the video. I love the discussion in the YouTube comments. Keep doing that. It's awesome. I love talking to you guys. Y'all can also find me streaming Destiny 2 on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jkirk. And my social media info will be listed below the video as well. Let's get to it, guys. All right, guys. So down the weapons. Spare rations. Favorite hand cannon. Hammer forge rifle and ricochet rounds. Rapid hit. Moving target. And range master work. This is a almost god roll. Maybe a god roll for me. I love moving target, rapid hit, and a lot of range. Uh, for my mind bender's ambition. Uh, shotgun. My favorite shoddy. It's a god roll in my opinion. Quick draw, slide shot, accurized rounds, rifle barrel, and a range master work. Quick draw on a shoddy, that's what you want, and uh, go from there. Always Icarus grip mods on my weapons. And then I run Warcliff Coil because it's easy kills. All right, for my sniper loadout, guys, I'm going to run Supremacy most of the time. It's my favorite sniper. It's a 140. You can double body with it. has a lot of aim assist, bullet magnetism. It's a great sniper. It's from the last Wish Raid. Uh, range master work, full bore, appendamatic, snapshot, triple tap is my role. Snapshot is what you want on there for a sniper, in my opinion. Um, and also, I run that with a hand cannon. I prefer Jack Queen King right now. It's from the Curse of Osiris DLC. It's a great hand cannon. has a good range, stability. It, it doesn't have an Icarus grip mod because you can't put a mod on it. But I've been running Ricochet, True Sight, and Pulse Monitor is the standard perk on it. Wish Pulse Monitor wasn't the perk. Wish it was something else. But still a great hand cannon. Uh, you're going to see in the clips, it's a really nice hand cannon to go with a sniper. And it's a 150, so that has that point eight time to kill with three headshots, so it kills really fast. All right, guys, on my armor, I was going for a 3, 5, 10, 3, 4, 5 build. I wanted to get a 10 in recub, a 5 in resilience, and decent mobility. I didn't need to have high mobility because my hand cannon already has moving target, which increases strafe speed. And also have lightweight on, on my hand cannon, so I don't need the high mobility on a Titan. And because I have that as well. So my strafe speed's already going to be good. And I have Doom Archers, so that increases my speed as well. So for my helmet, recovery mod, enhanced hand cannon target, I need that to be a void helmet. So I can have that enhanced perk, uh, recovery, and enhanced hand cannon loader, enhanced momentum transfer on my gauntlets. Recovery, unflinching light arms aim, and unflinching shotgun aim on chest piece. You need this to be arced to have that inflinching shotgun aim on your uh, chest piece. Also running my Doom Archers. These are just the base collections roll. I never got a random drop for them yet. So I run these with a shotgun scavenger, light arms, dexterity, and recovery mod. I would want them to be arc uh, if they drop for me randomly. So I would have that shotgun scavenger. I like that there. So on my class side, I'm going to be running Thundercoil better already in a resilience mod. 
Thunder Coil is a new perk this season. It'll be going after this season, I hope, along with Oppressive Darkness and Arc Battery. So these are invaluable perks here because you're going to see a, lo a lot of them in comp. You're going to see a lot of Hunters running Arc Battery. You're going to see a lot of Titans running Thunder Coil and a lot of Warlocks running Oppressive Darkness because Arc Battery with an Arc Strider build or Worm Husk is, is really strong. Then Oppressive Darkness with a Controverse Hold and a Handheld Supernova is really strong as well. So Bottom Tree Striker with Knockout kind of counters those perks. Gives you a little bit of more melee damage. So you knock out critically wounding an enemy or breaking their shields increases your melee range and damage. So knockout normally does 160 damage when you have that perk procced. But it'll do 200 damage without Syntheseps and uh, with Thunder Coil. So 200 damage, knockout, Thunder Coil. And uh, you can take out about anybody there. <laughs> so for my sniper and hand cannon loadout, Supremacy and Jack Queen King. I also switch out my class item, so I switch to the Sniper Rifle Scavenger Recuperation Resilience class item. So I just rotate these in and out. And also I do the same with Doom Watchers because this one has Enhanced Hand Cannon Dexterity. Just rotate these in and out. So you just switch these two items. And I can also change uh, the mod on this to Precision Weapon Targeting to benefit both the Sniper and the Hand Cannon. If I have time. Sometimes you won't have that time to do that. So it's better to actually have a different helmet that you can switch. But I run the Void Helmet so I can keep the 3-5-10 build. So that works out. On to some gameplay, finally. Uh, we're also going to talk about some more guns here. So I wanted to tell you all some good shotties, good snipers, good hand cannons. Besides the ones that I use. I mean, there's other great ones out there. You don't have to use those to be good at the game. Uh, they just help, you know? So for shotties, Mindbender's Ambition, Retold Tale, Dust Rock Blues, Imperial Decree. Those are great legendary shotties. Also, a blue botheration MK28 can go either in the kinetic slot or energy, energy slot, compare on which one you get. Stubborn Oak is a white shoddy, and hand in hand is a green shoddy. Um, for snipers, like I said, I love Supremacy. Beloved is a great option. Twilight Oath, Revoker, Alone is a God, a great year one sniper. Luna Nullis 2 is a green sniper with a short gaze scope, only short gaze scope in the game. And it's a green sniper. <laughs> great sniper. I've used it a lot. And then the Aiken LR2 is a blue sniper. It can be in the energy slot or the kinetic slot. Okay, on the hand cannons, guys. You know, like I said, get out of here. Last word, it's a really good gun. Last word, the Warren Ace, uh, all great hand cannons. And then Lumina is a great hand cannon. Sunshot, Waking Vigil, Rose, Luna's Howl, Not Forgotten, and Spare R Rations, like I said. Spare Rations is a great hand cannon. And then, you know, from year one, you know, Dire Promise, Midnight Coup, Jack Queen King, the one I used. One Earth is a green hand cannon, like the Dire Promise. And it's a 150, good hand cannon. So if you don't have the best weapons in the game, that's okay. There's still greens, blues, legendaries that are easy to obtain. And y'all can do well with those. You don't have to have the best of the best to compete in survival. You can compete with anything. Just go out there and try. Go, you know. We're just flying around, guys. <laughs> One oh, we just three-tapped the freaking heavy. Okay. That's all I like to see. All right, guys. I've done enough rambling. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun no making it. Thanks for all the support. Destroy. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe. Uh, again, thanks, guys. You have a good one. Enjoy the highlights. Second chance. One opponent stands. Did you hear that? This is it. Get out of here. What you got. Come on, let's go. What just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> It was inconceivable as much accents. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. I couldn't see nothing. Agree. Agree.
I knew I was gonna run out. There we go. <laughs> oh crap. to get close to him. The only way I was going to win it. God, what are they doing? They're supposed to, <laughs> to run away from that engagement. Instead, they challenge by walking around my shield. Mida, dude, come on. He's calm. Your team out of line. No life left for anyone. Rest when you're dead. This comp. We don't use Mida? What? No more second chances. Fight to the finish. Now they can play. That was dumb. Last word, man. I'm dead. Y'all need to help me, man. Oh, it's a 2v3 from the end. So fast. Your team out of line. Either team has life. Whoop, I'll take it. <laughs> I didn't expect to there. Tiebreaker active. The end is 
Oh my god, I'm dead. Pushing in guys, we're coming, we're coming. One opponent remains. There we go. That's two boys! That's two! <laughs> There we go. We got this. Hit somebody with that nade. Enemy team is out of line. Top old man. Double down. You wage war like a do that sniper away, buddy. <laughs> he was mapped. He was so freaking mapped. Second chance. Three lives left. 